Yo, what's up creators? Welcome to my channel. This is Lou from LukeMHD. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to green screen your footage using Premiere Pro. So without wasting any time, guys, let's just jump right into it. So this video that I'm currently editing, it's by The Banker. It's a cat from East London. So he just wanted me to like edit this video for him basically he just shot a music video entirely on a green screen i'm gonna show you guys um the quickest way to actually key out your subject from um your green screen okay guys so now we're in premiere pro so obviously what you want to do is to drag and drop your footage on the timeline go on your effects panel and then search for ultra key you drag and drop it on your footage okay so the first thing that you're going to do is to select this little eyedropper thing here and then just choose the darkest green right and then you want to go here on output mode and then select alpha channel so in this way you're going to be able to see um what you chroming out and what you're not chroming out so everything that is black it means it, it's keyed out it, it's uh it's invisible there's nothing now and then all the white stuff is everything that will show and this gray area is what we want to get rid of because it's going to add some sort of a transparency on our green screen and we don't want that and then another thing that i usually do before anything else is to go here on settings and then just click or aggressive you see already it's doing a nice job um, taking care of all this white here and then now we want to go we want to clean out our mat so let's go to mat generation your your transparency you want it to be as high as possible but just make sure it doesn't show it doesn't do this just just make it to the highest highest point before it shows any before it shows your subject right right about 49 for this which is right and then you want to bring down the highlights to zero and then the shadows you want to bring down a little but not too much just a little you know not too much just make sure that your your subject stays completely white because as soon as there's this grayish thing that means that's some transparency there so just make sure that it stays yeah right about 41 it's right and then usually i don't touch tolerance and then here on pedestal just bump this up a little bit you see now we're getting somewhere I think right about here looks super nice actually. Yeah, I think right about here looks super nice. Bring this down. And then now we want to go to to Met Clean Up. And then for us to 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 be able to see this, we need to change back to composite. You see, this this is this is this is pretty clean, eh? This is pretty clean. There's not even, yeah, we can see a bit of a green spill on his face, but on his body, it's just clean. There's nothing. So we getting somewhere now. So you just wanna bump this choke just a little bit. Just make it 15, and then soften it. Make it about 17. And then um, you want to go on spill. So on spill, this is how you're gonna get rid of this green on his face and, and stuff. So you wanna bump this secret rage just a little bit, not too much. Let me see. I don't know. I think that's pretty clean to me. I think this is pretty clean actually. I think I think I think this is it. Oh, now you're probably wondering. Oh. Lou, what about the sh that's on the side and stuff? Okay, 
now we need to take care of that and then you want to go on your effects panel again and search for crop drag and drop it on your footage and then go on your left and just bump your left a bit until that's gone and then go on your right and then bump that until it's gone and then go in your top and bump that uh, bump it a bit just a tad bit just make sure you don't cut his head off you know i think right about there it's right you see So yeah guys that's how you basically um key out your subject you know from a green screen and stuff so when you here on the stage you can actually put something behind the subject so you just want to grab whatever you want to put behind him and drop it behind um like at the bottom of of uh, your footage you know so that it's behind him now depending here and on your on your liking when you have a background you know you're gonna have to obviously try and match the color of um like the temperature of your your background and and your subject just to make it you know believable and and stuff so yeah guys that's the finished product that's the final clip Um, if that's something that you would like to learn, I'm sure if you follow along the steps, you'll be able to pull it off. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe and comment and maybe tell me what you want to see next on the channel, you know, um, and thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Peace.